In the world of armored warfare, size often matters. But what if a tiny tank could pack a powerful punch? For this, tankette may come into consideration. It's a tracked armored vehicle that looks a bit like a mini tank, about the size of a car. Among all the tankettes in the world, one from Germany stands out. Meet the Wiesel, Germany's diminutive yet formidable machine. Even when you compare it to the other German tanks, it looks like nothing since it is so small. But this tank is something else and so deadly. So what makes this tiny tank so formidable? Stay tuned as we break down the answer to this question. First, let's dive into the origins of this tank. Weasel's story begins during the Cold War when Germany was on the lookout for a lightweight, airdroppable vehicle suited for reconnaissance and anti-tank missions. Back in the 1970s, the Bundeswehr's infantry, especially the airborne units, faced a big gap in taking on enemy main battle tanks. So, they aimed to develop a vehicle that could fit into NATO's standard transport planes and even be airdropped if needed. It had to be versatile enough to handle infantry, tanks, or even aircraft. Enter the Weasel Armored Weapons Carrier. Built by Rheinmetall, a tech powerhouse that manufactures everything from military vehicles and drones to air purifiers and safety gear, Weasel production kicked off in the 1980s. In 1985, they received an order for 343 units. The vehicle got its name Wiesel, meaning weasel, due to its compact size and agility. Since its debut, the Wiesel has seen action in several Bundeswehr missions abroad, including in Somalia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Afghanistan. As the name suggests, the Wiesel's standout feature is its size. The original model, the Wiesel 1, is incredibly compact. About 3.55 meters long and just under 2 meters tall, weighing in at only 2.75 metric tons, roughly the weight of a small car. It's powered by an Audi 2.1 liter diesel engine that puts out 86 horsepower. While that's modest compared to today's mid-sized family cars, which typically range between 110 and 200 horsepower, the Weasel's light build lets it zip around pretty quickly. It can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour, handle water up to 0.5 meters deep, and even jump over a 1.2 meter wide trench, making it surprisingly versatile across different terrains. When it comes to firepower, out of the 343 Weasel 1 vehicles, 210 are equipped with the Raytheon Tow wire-guided anti-tank missile system. This setup lets them engage armored targets and fortifications from a safe distance. The remaining 133 vehicles feature the Kuka turret E62A1, which is armed with a dual-feed Rheinmetall Mark 20 RH202 20mm autocannon. This autocannon, known for its high rate of fire between 880 and 1,020 rounds per minute, is quite effective against infantry, soft-skinned vehicles, light armor, and even low-flying aircraft. While the Weasel isn't lacking in speed or firepower, there is a trade-off. It delivers a solid punch for its size, but its armor is thinner compared to other tanks of its era. Made from relatively light steel, it's designed to withstand shrapnel and machine gun fire, but isn't much protection against bigger guns. The armor thickness varies between 6mm and 8mm, which highlighted the need for an upgrade by 2001.
After the Weasel 1 was introduced, the Weasel 2 came along to address the need for a model that could carry more and handle a wider range of battlefield missions. It was designed to support the original Weasel 1 vehicles, which mainly served as weapon carriers. The Weasel 2 is essentially a longer version of the Weasel 1, complete with an additional road wheel. It's powered by a 1.9-liter Volkswagen inline four-cylinder turbo diesel engine with direct injection and an intercooler, cranking out 109 horsepower. All in all, the Weasel 2 is bigger, faster, and more powerful than its predecessor. When it comes to protection, the Weasel 2 steps up with upgraded armor, giving its crew better defense against small arms fire and shell fragments. It also comes equipped with an NBC protection system. The Weasel 2 has several variants, including lightweight air defense, medevac, combat engineer reconnaissance, and mobile command post configurations. Soldiers familiar with the Weasel frequently commend its speed and effectiveness. Corporal Tom Bule from the 1st Fusiliers Reconnaissance Platoon noted that the vehicle is not only fast, but can swiftly cut across terrain, dart into a roadblock, reappear elsewhere, and take a shot that eliminates the target. His account highlights how Weasel's agility and precise firepower make it a formidable asset on the battlefield. The Weasel tank showcases German military ingenuity at its finest. Despite its small size, it delivers a powerful combination of speed, agility, and firepower. Its ability to be airlifted and quickly deployed makes it a vital asset in modern combat. Weasel's legacy continues to influence military strategists and engineers, proving that size isn't everything in warfare. With its compact design and impressive capabilities, the Weasel remains one of the most effective mini-tanks in history, earning its place as a key player on the battlefield. So, what do you think of this formidable little machine? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.